Thank you for joining us as we continue to talk about cardiovascular disease. We're talking about triglycerides. I know many of you have high elevated triglycerides or elevated cholesterol. And yes, these are risk factors, but we want to look at the whole picture because that's why we're here. We want to prevent disease with the knowledge and information we can make a difference in our health. So let's take a look. Triglycerides. Why does triglycerides elevate? Well, I'm going to give you a basic thing. We're going to start with dietary health. You're going to learn about this as you get into our, the book, The Stupid Diet, teaches you the right foods, the healthy fats, the, the chemical-free foods that make a difference in this area, but particularly sugars that cause glycosylated hemoglobin, or we know what that means is, is basically leads to things like diabetes and these kinds of problems, but also high carbohydrate refined sugars increase triglycerides. You got it. It makes a difference. It increases the fat, fatty liver, harder to metabolize these sugars. So diet plays a critical role to triglycerides. Also, as you'll learn in the when you're looking at a healthy diet and you're improving things, triglycerides, or, or if you will, that excess fat, we can look at things like niacin. And you'll see as we get into talking about natural products that we use to help lower cholesterol, like our Cholest Clear, it's the same types of product inside that that are going to also help with triglycerides. We know things like EPA and DHA from fish oil can have a benefit in the literature on helping with triglyceride levels. So dietary health healthy fats, niacin, B3, one of the early, long time used prescriptions to help decrease uh, triglycerides. And you want it to make sure it's time release so it's not instantaneous. A sugar that is low in, in refined carbohydrates, none of them high in, in fruits and vegetables, and you'll learn about that in the, in, the, in the stupid diet, high in antioxidant levels with healthy fats are all going to reduce triglycerides. And you're going to be amazed to find that as your triglyceride levels decrease, your cholesterol typically will decrease, especially from dietary factors. Thank you for joining me on the Invita Whiteboard as we continue to talk about cardiovascular disease.